Hello and welcome to this week's uh, Trade of the Week on Monday, the 11th of December 2023. Now, before we start our last trade of the week, what I would like to do is just summarize what we did in the past few weeks. And on the 20th of November, we went short soybeans. You can see that here on this daily financial bet. And basically, we've been trading a downward trading channel ever since. We didn't quite hit our downside target and uh, are still falling, though. So if you are Still short soybeans, uh, maybe it's time to cash in your profits because we're coming towards the end of the year or you can just let it run and maybe put uh, your uh, take profit order just above uh, Friday's high, uh, in which case you would still make a profit on this trade. Then last week we went uh, long sugar, number 11 sugar futures uh, here, as you can see on the 4th of December, we bounced off the 200 day simply moving average. And I thought we could uh, regain some of the lost ground, but instead I got it completely wrong and the market continued to slide. But that's why we only take a maximum risk of 2% of our total or uh, overall uh, capital that we're trading per trade. Now, obviously all the trades we do are hypothetical. Uh, they're just here for training purposes and educational purposes. But yes, you would have lost money on this trade. And as you can see here, the sugar price continues to fall very, very swiftly and is on track to reach its uh, June low. Which uh, brings me to this week's trade of the week. And as you can see here, the S&P 500 has risen by nearly 12% from its October lows, has last week uh, flirted with its July high and risen to levels last traded, uh, I believe, in uh, May of 2022. Uh, yes, that is correct, uh, March of 2022. And basically there, the high was at 4,637. And after six consecutive weeks of gains, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if at some stage this week, especially since we've got, um, uh, uh, we've got inflation data out of the U US tomorrow and, and the uh, Federal Open Market Committee meeting on Wednesday, we could perhaps see a reversal to the downside or a short-term correction against the trend. Also, because as you can see here, we've got the latest high which hasn't been confirmed by a higher reading of the relative strength index. So we've got what is called negative divergence. And when that happens, there's a pretty high probability that there will be at least a short term counter trend move. So for that reason, so for that technical reason, and because I believe that the uptrend is starting to lose upside momentum, I would like to go short the S&P 500 around current levels of around 4,600 uh, with a stop loss above the March 2022 high at 4,600 and uh, 40, let's say, on a daily chart closing basis and a downside target around the 4,500 mark. So this week's uh, trade of the week is to go short the S&P 500 with a stop loss at 4,640 and a downside target around 4,500.